What's up guys, it's Uncle Drew, and today we're gonna be building a PC that's about $550. All right, so we made an error here. It's actually $650 plus or minus $50, as I say when I mention about the different prices. Uh, but the whole build is actually $650 plus or minus a few, and uh, you'll hear some more about that in the future. So enjoy the video. Plus or minus roughly $50 as a result of everything that's going on and how the prices keep going up and down just a little bit. I have noticed that for the most part, the prices have been about 550 to 600 or 500 for all the parts that we're gonna mention in this video. But we're gonna take a look at those and maybe some alternatives that you can have so that you can make sure you get a budget PC at 1080p settings, not to mention being able to future-proof it as much as possible and for as much as that is worth. Now, before we get started on this build, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment in the video. Now, since we have 50 subscribers, today I'm gonna to be announcing the winner of the PC game giveaway of either Borderlands 3 or The Outer Worlds. So make sure to stay tuned until the end to find out who the winner is. Now, let's get started in the build in four, three, two, one. Thanos are there, yeah. you know what you're doing in your own channel? Apparently not.
heal time. Wow, that's clean. Like no noise. Oh, a little bit of noise. Ta da! Okay, let's talk about the build. Let's start off with the entire build process and the cost of each of each thing. Now, let's start off with the PC case. The PC case was a Salma 3D case and the cost was $48. The Ryzen 3600 was $165 on sale when I got it. I think it's currently 180. The RX 580 that I bought, I bought on eBay and it was $135 brand new on sale. And it was actually a new egg, uh, it was a new egg sale on eBay. I bought the MSI B450 Tomahawk for $115, the Patriot Viper 16 gigabyte, 3200 megahertz RAM for $78, and right now on Amazon it's actually 70, and I've seen even cheaper ones for about $65 that are still a, a brand that is known. I bought an ADATA 240 gigabyte SSD for $34 on sale, it was $3 off, and right now you can get it for $38. And then the drives, it was a one terabyte 7200 RPM for $30, or you can get a two terabyte for $50 depending. And once again, this all depends on your budget. This is a $550 build, which can be between $600 and actually $500 because it just depends on what the prices are at the time. When it comes to the components that we have here, the majority of the components can be used over and over and over again. Like the power supply, you don't need to buy another power supply if you get the right one or if you get a good one. You don't have to get another SSD or another terabyte hard drive. You can add on to those things without replacing those things unless they go bad, which is a definitely a benefit. Now, a motherboard, that can be an issue if you don't get the right one, which is why I think the MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard is the best one you can get because you can still put in a 3700X, a 3900X if you want to. And with proper cooling, at that point, if you spent, if you have the money and if you're upgrading slowly, you should have a really good case if you want to switch it out with even more or even better one. Or you can just put more fans in it. You can liquid cool. There's so many things you can do. For me, I think that I would go with a 3600 and the B450 Tomahawk motherboard. And initially with the RX 580. And the reason I would do that personally is because if I go with the 1600 AF, which I realize that it's $85, and if you're in that budget and that's all you have, quite literally, then I get why you would choose that one. But if I'm looking at future proofing as much as possible, getting the highest amount without compromising the budget and also without losing money, without getting, without getting returns on that investment. Real quick, forgot to mention, the Ryzen 3600 can get about 25 to 30 percent better performance in cpu intensive games like division 2 for instance than can the 1600 af and of course it has higher clock speeds and that's a great benefit there but i just wanted to mention that because i forgot to put that statistic up i don't have to worry about getting another processor in the future and therefore the only thing i have to focus on is the graphics card now i would go with an rx 580 for now most people do game on a 24 25 inch monitor and start at 60 at 60 frames, a 60 hertz monitor, or maybe 120 hertz monitor or 144, if you can get a good deal with those. Now, if you're just starting out, even in competitive settings for most of the games that many, many people play, not everybody, but many people play Fortnite or Apex or CSGO, those games, usually people play them at low, at low settings. So if you do, the RX 580 will do fine. You have good frame rates. Even if, even if you did have the budget to buy a 120 hertz monitor, you would be able to potentially play pretty close to 120 hertz or even more depending on the game and be able to take advantage of that monitor but anyway that's for a, that's for a different time for now i would get a 3600 i would get an rx 580 that would get me at the 1080p at least medium to high settings depending on the game that you're going to play 
And again, if you're going to play something like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, obviously that's going to, to get the 60 frames per second, you're going to have to, you know, compromise on some of the settings, which personally, I will pretty much always turn shadows down no matter what game I'm playing. To me, even though there is a, you can notice that there's a difference in the shadow, for whatever reason, that's just not something that I care about so much. And if you notice, if you just drop the shadows on a lot of the games that you and I play, if you lower the shadows on the graphics, you'll notice a huge increase in frames per second. And not in every game it will do that, but in most games that I've played personally, if I just decrease the shadows or turn them off just entirely, I get 20, 30 frames more, depending on the game. And just try that. Turn off the shadows on whichever game you're playing and see if you can if you can check the, the, the frames, the FPS on your computer, download something like MSI, or if you have an NVIDIA, you can use that, uh, what is it, Control Alt? Oh, Alt Z. Alt Z. So if you use Alt Z, then you'll be able to adjust that and show the frames on the games that you're playing. And check it out for yourself. See if just dropping the shadows or turning them off entirely will help you with the frames. Personally, that's the way I do it. Now, going back again, you can re reuse the power supply. You can reuse the SSD and the, the hard disk drive. Not ideal, obviously you want to eventually get to a better drive, but for budget, for $550. Now, the one thing you have to be focused on, again, is the motherboard and the processor. I think the RAM will do just fine the way it is. 3200 megahertz at 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can stick in two more sticks of RAM in the future, and you can have yourself a total of 32 gigs if you so wish. That is a lesser issue because most games, mini games do not require 16 gigabytes of RAM and that way you could still have some tabs open on Chrome even though it eats it for breakfast you still be able to do that now as far as the case is concerned we chose the Sama uh, 3d case because it was the best deal simple as that and it, it had a mesh front it had a mesh uh, mesh at the top and it had the filter and it allowed us to do everything that we needed to do with putting the fans with the cooling the, they had three fans in it and in this case it was the perfect thing to do so i saved a lot of money on the case yeah it wasn't an nzxt or a corsair or anything like that but it's still a really good case if you want to have a gaming computer the only thing you have to do is make sure you have the main components you don't have to have a 240 gigabyte ssd and a one terabyte hard drive the thing is that if you're if you're tight on that budget and but you want to get in and you can get the other stuff later then you just get the 240 gigabyte SSD. And I realized that that's not ideal, but you still get in the budget. And from there you can upgrade. You don't have to replace the SSD and you're still there. You want them, but you don't have to have both. Obviously, if, if I were to choose, I would definitely have the 240 gigabyte SSD. And I, I realize that you're not gonna be able to download very many games, maybe one or two, depending on the game that you're gonna get. Obviously, again, if your budget is lower and you could only afford the $85, I get it, get the $85 1600 AF. But if not, and you wanna make sure that six core 12 threads is the best you can get, then the 3600 is the best six core 12 threads that you can get, in my opinion. So if you have an RX 580 with the 3600, the only thing you have to upgrade in the future is that graphics card. The beautiful thing about that is that you don't have to upgrade a little bit. You can upgrade a lot over time. So if you have an RX 580, then you have the ability now to sell the graphics card in the future, buy yourself a better graphics card, Hopefully, uh, when the 3000 series graphics card from NVIDIA or the new series of, uh, of AMD come out, the prices of the 5700 XC or the 5700 will go down or the, even the 5600 XT might go down a little bit. Obviously, we're going to have some differencing of opinions. And this is the build that I thought was the best one you can build right now with every component that's available without you actually, in a sense, losing money, if that, if that makes sense. All right, guys, let's talk about the giveaway. Now, normally a lot of people don't mention so much about the giveaway uh, and the reasons behind it. I wanna tell you kind of why I, I'm actually doing this and why I like doing these things. I like tech personally, and I like other people having tech. I like other people being able to have technology for themselves and obviously to be able to um, use computers and just get into them and stuff like that. And even though I'm in the medical, a medical profession, I still enjoy tech very much. And I want to be able to give back to other people. And I realize that this is just a PC game giveaway. This isn't a computer. But in the future, I want to be able to give away these computers that I'm building. But in order to do that, I need you to like and subscribe and leave comments and tell your friends so that I can start giving away these, these things. I actually enjoy and prefer much more to give these things away than to just have them here and have them in boxes there just kind of hanging out and just not really do much with them. I prefer to give it to you guys. But in order for me to do that, yeah, I've got to have the likes and the, the, the subscribes and all those different things in order for me to do it. And so if you're interested and if you want a PC in the future, 
you'll have to help me out and tell your friends about the channel and that way we can move forward and go ahead and give these things away because ultimately every pc build that we do i would like to give it away and if you want that pc that we that we build then you have to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because as we get more subscribers and you're hitting that notification bell to make sure you're up to date with our content then i will be able to give away these pcs and this is not a joke i mean it these pcs that i'm going to be building i will be giving them away as as long as this channel keeps growing and as it grows i would love to give more than one pc away i would love to, i would love to give away literally every pc that we build every time we build give away every time we build give away give away give away because that's what I want and that's what I like doing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now let's get back to the actual giveaway of the PC game. Now if your name is Thomas, I'll leave the last name here with, with his comment. DM me in the about page of my channel to make sure we can get your the, the details on how we can get your game to you. Congratulations for winning that game of either Borderlands 3 or The Outer Worlds. We are going to do another PC game giveaway at 100 subscribers so make sure you subscribe. And, and in the future, we'll be doing other types of giveaways. I think the most appropriate thing for now as these things begin to develop will probably be uh, maybe some more maybe some peripherals or some accessories to PC gaming or the, to computers, things like that. And may, again, in the future, hopefully we can just give away an entire computer and ship it to you and you can just have the very PC that we build here on studio. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make sure you, you're up to date with our content. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.